Hello lads. Oh, you weren't supposed to see that I was wearing um what's it called? Jarrah bottoms. Oh well. Hey guys, it's me Meg and you know, it's this special kind of time no I've messed up my intro. I've completely messed this up. Let's try again. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Take a deep breath in. Hi guys, it's me Meg. Welcome back to another video. It is this. I've done it again. Oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? Right. Last time, and then if I can do it, I don't care. Screw it. Right. Hi guys, it's me Meg. Welcome back to another video. It is that special time of year again, when we are all going back to hell, aka school. So special in fact that I've even got my blazer on. I put my blazer on early, like a week early. I mean, it's not a week, it's a few days. And this for me is a very, 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 very special back to school period because it is the last time I will be going. Ah, <laughs> that almost made me emotional, ill, which is horrible because I don't actually like going there, but hey ho. It is the last time that I'll be having a first day of school because I'm in, I'm going into year, or I'm in year 13 now technically because it's September the 1st, so you know, I'm in year 13, which in the UK is the last year of school. I am going to be going to uni next year, so I mean, I'm not technically out of education yet, but it's my last year of school all the same. <laughs> it's my last year of secondary school and then I'm going to be an adult. Ah! That was scary. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh god. And as I do every year, um, and have done since the start of this channel, pretty sure like my first video or one of my first videos, I don't know if it's still public, but it was my like back like what's in my school bag for year seven. <laughs> Which is kind of insane because now I'm going into year thirteen. Ah, so that was my first year of secondary and now this is my last year of school in general. Anyway, oh, let's get on with what's in my school bag. Oh, I'm also wearing my school lanyard. Let me make sure that's that way around. Uh, do you want to see the photo? I'll, I'll do that. There you go. There you go. That's me. And the reason why I wear my lanyard is because as part of this, I wanted to show you all the stuff that I have on it. It's not that normal to put badges on your lanyard, but I'm a sad child, so I do it anyway. And I thought I'd show you. Also, hi, we love this necklace. Thank you, Eddie. Much love. Anyway... <laughs> Um, I've got this, which actually my ex-boyfriend's dad got me, but let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, this is, I think it's a Metro, is it Metro Bank? Yeah, it's just a little Halloween-y one. I like, I like, ba I like vampires. This is the, I cannot remember what it's called. It's not the Eclair de Lune, that's a song. It's some, it's a French thingy. I got it from Dover Castle, anyway. And then I have a little gay pride badge. Uh, GWR is Great Western Railway, it's not a sexuality, don't judge. <laughs> Uh, I've got my psychology prefect badge because I'm head psychology prefect along with my mate Josh. Got a waitress one from the musical waitress and I have my snow life award because I'm a level two skier, guys. Isn't that cool? Or at least I was <laughs> last time. Oh, and I've got this massive one. Here you go. This says, um, please offer me a seat with the little London Transport logo. So this is a badge that I actually got from London Transport and I've got a card of it in my purse. Which is for, I'm so hot in this blazer, <laughs> which is for people with disabilities and um, like issues, medical issues that can't be seen. So I have anxiety, really bad anxiety. So when I travel um, on public transport and stuff, I'm basically always fighting the urge to cry, scream, have a panic attack. And because I have low blood pressure um, anyway, which is made worse by my medications. We love that. Um, I pass out quite a lot, especially if I have a panic attack and I'm hyperventilating, I will pass out. So this please offer me a seat badge is kind of like the way of being, oh, not all disabilities, not all issues are um, visible. And it's please offer me a seat because I am speckled and I need your help. So yeah, and now I'm taking this off because it's rubbing against a bit of eczema I have on my neck. Let's get into my school bag. Here is my school bag for this year. I used it in year 12 and year 10. 
I did have my Cybermen one, but everyone took the piss out of me for having a Cybermen bag, so I've gone back to using the Pointless Blog one, because no one seems to know what PB stands for. I don't really care. And it's got a, um, a poppy patch on it. The poppy is a sign of remembrance here in the UK. And it is a blue stripe poppy, so it's for um, police officers and anyone that's been killed on the job in the UK police force. So yeah, let's start with this front pocket. This is a, where did I, oh, it's in my bag, okay. This is a very um, topical pocket, given the current circumstances. So the first thing I have is a mask, because uh, Corona. I don't think our school is actually making us wear them around school premises but if i do decide to get the bus home or if i go into town during my freeze which once again we don't actually know if we're allowed to do that yet but we'll find out or if i go into town after school or something i need my mask when i go into shops and stuff and mine is really cute i got it off of etsy and it's got little like you know a little funko pop design uh dementors from harry potter on it and it says expecto patronum and it's really cute um, although actually recently it's been worn this way by my boyfriend because he never seems to have a mask whenever we go anywhere where we need a mask so he just wears this one and I wear my other one so yeah that's that and then also on the topic of Rona I have a little hand sanitizer in my bag it's really cute I got this for my birthday as you guys would have seen if you've watched that video um, and this is just yeah my vanilla scented hand um, sanitizer I'm gonna put some on now Oh my god. And it just says winning at life girl power. I mean, I didn't get it. <laughs> That's that. Oh, I have some magnets in my bag. You're probably thinking that was really weird. I put them in my locker, but when we went back into school for like four days during lockdown, um, I took them out of my locker just if, I don't know. I don't know how this school works. This is only my second year being at this particular school, so... Anyway, I'm assuming I'm going to have the same locker when I go back, given that I still have the key on here. But I took them out anyway. This is a keep calm and carry on magnet. And it's one of these ones where, yeah, when you do this, it changes. So it's either red or it's got the Union Jack on it. Sorry, Union flag. And then this one is um, a poppy magnet that my grandma and granddad got me. And I think each of my cousins have one as well. Don't quote me on that, lads. <laughs> um, it's a poppy um, because, yeah. I see. I also have a poppy in my blazer. I seem very remembrancey and patriotic with what's going on right now. <laughs> right. Okay then. Uh, next thing I've got my AirPods, fake AirPods, obviously because I'm not paying a hundred or something quid. I don't actually know if these are charged or not. So um, I mean, are they? Oh, they are. Okay. And I've got this really cute case on mine, which is little dinosaurs. It says, hug me, I'm trying. It's really cute. Um, but I also have my normal earphones, which look dutty as hell. Uh, like my normal Apple ones that came with my phone. So they have a little lightning cord adapter in there just because, yeah. And then we've got what everyone needs, a little EOS lip balm. I'm going to put some of that on. Oh my god, it's Peng. I think this one's like vanilla and sheer butter and I love it. So got that in there because lip balm. And I've got a little first aid kit in there. This is actually one that I normally have for work because it's got this little thing on it where I can go on my belt. And in here, I've basically just got plasters. I would normally have ibuprofen or paracetamol, but I don't actually know where that's disappeared off to. And then it's got a face shield with a one-way valve, that's for CPR. And it's got some um, like latex gloves or vinyl gloves, whatever. So yeah, that's all the crap that's in the front of my bag. And it would also, if I was actually going to school, my keys would be in there. But because I'm not going to school today, my keys are hanging up where, like, by the front door. Let's get into the main section of this thing then so this bag in particular is just like one thing like there's no pockets or anything in here it's just one big section so let's start at the front and work our way back so the first thing is my purse this is a Kath Kidston yes Kath Kidston purse that I got for Christmas last year 
and it's got like this really like pretty watercolor gray scale um like pictures of like london different london um landmarks and stuff the shard big ben there are beef eaters um london eye saint paul's is on there and also tower bridge and in my purse just in case anyone actually cares let's see what we've got going on i've got my debit card i've got my costa card i've got 20 oh i've got 20 good hello there <laughs> don't know where that's gone from i've got a body shop i've got a brighton pier card because why not what's this paper chase and also my please offer me a seat remember not all impairments and conditions are visible and yeah that's it there's nothing interesting in my purse it's just it's just it's just a purse in it then i've got my glasses um I swapped over, I have two pairs of glasses, one for when I'm reading on paper and one pair for when I'm reading on a computer because I have a condition called Mears Erlen syndrome, um, which is linked to dyslexia and stuff. I'm not going into it, just pretend it's dyslexia, it's a lot easier. Um, so basically I can't read because the words don't stay still, but I've just realised I've swapped over the cases. <laughs> like this is the case that came with my computer glasses, but it's got my reading glasses in it. Anyway, um, they're here, they've got blue lenses. They're pretty sick glasses, otherwise I wouldn't actually be able to read anything at school. Next, I've got my pencil case. Let's move the bag out. Oh my god. Cool. Pencil case, here it is. Um, my pencil case is a Skinny Dip pencil case. It's from the Skinny Dip X Soap Does Nails collection, or Soap Does Life. Sorry, she changed her name, didn't she? So that's this it's really cute it's just a clear like makeup bag and it's got little um gold like celestial stuff on it in my pencil case really 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 quick rundown i've got a vaseline this thing this one this is the mirror mirror one. Oh, it's like cinnamon apple or some crap i don't bloody know I love Vaseline, pretty sure I have one of like every one. Every time there's a new Vaseline that comes out, I buy it. <laughs> Whether I'm going to use it or not, I just buy it because I love Vaseline. Anyway, uh, my highlighters, I'm not going to bother getting each one out because I did actually buy a new pack this year. They haven't all run out, but I'm pretty sure my blue one has. And these were half price in Tesco's at four squid. So I was like, I'm going to buy them. Um, so yeah, I think they're normally eight pounds. But these are Sted Stedler, yes, the Text Surfer Classics. And I like the ones where it's got all the colours because I'm a bit OCD. I'm not a bit OCD. I am OCD. I have OCD, English. And um, yeah, I colour code everything to the down to the like T. I don't just, let's not go there. Bic four way on the floor. My Dan Phil ruler is somehow still alive. And I've got Paper Mate Ink Joy pen, which once again is still alive. This is the same one from last year. I'll probably, I think it's still running strong. I do have like a whole pack of them over on this little table thingy. Uh, so I might end up changing it within a few days, but it's here. And I've got a pencil sharpener. Nice and interesting. I've got two hb pencils or they're called number two pencils in america and i have a print stick because everyone needs a print stick i've got a rubber and i've got a casio scientific oh my god casio scientific calculator which i have had since i was in year two i think well, i wouldn't have had it in year two was it year five i've had this since primary school there you go um, and I will probably never get rid of that calculator because I love it. And all I do is replace the batteries. <laughs> Every time the battery dies, I'm like, ah. I've only had to replace it once and I've had it for like 10 years. Okay. Next. <laughs> uh, I've just got a diary. So my school that I go for for sick form doesn't give out planners anymore because they use an app called show my homework which i think quite a lot of schools use in the uk um but yeah so i've just got this mid-year diary so it's 2020 2021 it follows the academic year pretty much and it's gay because you know lgbt community 
And yeah, because I just like to write out what I'm doing this week. So for instance, for instance, this is this is this week. Should we see my plans? Monday. Mum is off. She was off yesterday because it was a bank holiday. Today, my boyfriend's coming around at some point to be confirmed. Time. Wednesday, I've scheduled in some crying because I probably will. Thursday, I've got to do a bunch of like back to school stuff. So bath wash my hair, do my nails, work out what I'm wearing. I mean, I'm probably just gonna wear literally this top, given that I've got it out of the drawer, and my jeans, which I'm not wearing, short collar. And then Friday, it's back to hell. So, yeah. Isn't it great? I've also accidentally managed to buy books that are all the same color, so. Yeah. I don't really know where I'm putting stuff now. It's all kind of just random. I've also got in here a random little reading book. It's a non-fiction book. Um, and it is <clears throat> Amazing and Extraordinary Facts about Great Britain. Whoa. Um, and this is just because I know I'm going to get bored um, when I'm doing in my study periods because, you know, I kind of want to go to university like a lot, short horror, and I kind of need to like get decent grades and it's not really going to happen. So I'm going to get bored during my study periods when I'm meant to be studying. Uh, and I just thought, you know, to keep my brain still going, I have something I can try and read and highlight and destroy. So yeah, here's a book. Isn't it nice? Then I've got my folders or wallets. They are on their last legs, but I'm going to make them go for as long as humanly possible. Although I don't know if I'm going to actually need this one, but we'll go with it. So you know what I was saying about everything being colour coded? Each of these little ones corresponds to one of these massive ones. And they're really heavy because it's got all of my year 12 work in it. So they're really heavy and I'm gonna put them down oh my god jeez so this clear one corresponds to the green biology folder this blue one corresponds to the blue psychology folder and this pink one corresponds to the pink sociology folder there's no label on it but we'll go with it and then this black one was for personal development but I don't think we're actually doing it this year because it's not on my timetable at all so um, it's just, you know, any letters or anything we get, extra bits and bobs I can bring home. Because basically what I'll do is I write on like a refill pad and then I'll put everything that I got in these. And then when I get home, I put them into the big folder so I don't have to lug these things around because they are bloody heavy. So, yeah. Oh, I'm not putting it back in yet. Um, Okay. So, jotter pads, I haven't actually put them in yet, and I guess this is the one I'm starting with. I got some Pooker Pad jotter notebooks. I don't normally get spiral notebooks, but these ones were hole punched and have the tear out pages, so this is good for filing. And yeah, they're really pretty. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's that really nice, like minty teal colour again. So, yeah, and they're really pretty on the inside and they're pastel. So, yeah, and they were like half price. So I got two of them. Yay. <laughs> Not that anyone cares, but it's pretty. So there you go. Oh, my God. I've got my water bottle, which, once again, haven't put in my school bag yet because... There's no water in it. This is a hydro flask. It's from Costa. I live for Costa coffee. Costa's like the English version of Starbucks. It's a thousand times better. Don't even come at me. So yeah. Um, I've got a bunch of these study cards. I've got two, two packets that I got last year. I haven't actually opened yet because I haven't been writing any, but I might just do some of that. But yeah, look, social influence. Wait, did I not start? This bit, oh, research methods. This one's a psychology one. But yeah, I've got some like um, revision cards. Did I spill coffee in my bag? Cause it looks like there's coffee on this. I must have done. At some point last year, I spilled coffee in my bag. And I've also got some post-it flags. 
I don't know. These are from leftover from GCSE, so I don't actually know if I'll end up using them this year or not, but maybe. <laughs> um and then the last thing that i've got in there is a textbook this is the only year two textbook that i currently have um it's my sociology one book two i still have oh, sociology book one which i am gonna make the assumption that i'm gonna have to give back pretty soon for the um new year 12s I forgot how to english I've got my biology book one because they haven't given us our book twos yet because the old year 13s had them so they haven't given them to us yet but we will get them and I'll have to give this one back and this one I actually own it because the school's a bit spastic okay so this is my psychology year one I'm gonna have to go and buy psychology book two they cost like 30 quid each I'm gonna cry because they're bloody expensive but hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, I'm, it's got to be done otherwise I'm going to fail my A level. And now I'm just going to make a mess. And I'm going to go and get completely like undressed again because I literally only got dressed for this video when I'm meant to be having a pyjama day. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. Thanks for watching lads, this ended up being a bit longer and a little bit more chaotic than I thought it was going to be, although you lot probably weren't expecting anything less, let's be honest, this is Meg. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the end of that, or this, yeah, something, <laughs> I've lost it. Do the outro and go and put your dressing gown on. All right? All right. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new or haven't done so already. Please, it's free. And comment anything you feel down below. And all my social media is linked down below, including the code you can use to get 15% off at louisrose.shop. So, which is Meg Shaw, yes, use code Meg Shaw at louisrose.shop, louisroseshop.com, whatever it is, and 15% off your purchases. So, yeah. Yeah. And I have a video coming soon about sponsored clothing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so look out for that one when it comes out and uh, thanks for watching and goodbye!